on at all? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I already got situations on the floor now. It's really now it comes down to me. What, 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 what would this deal look like? Like, I don't even understand why would you get signed? Because, because this thing, with music, you want the push. Mm. You only gonna go so far independent, and even independent is not what you think. People think everybody say, oh, they're independent. No, independent is what I'm doing. Independent is putting your own money up and then figuring out, just solely on your fan base, spending money on marketing and advertising and doing ads on social media and paying blogs to talk about you. That's independent, all right? With me just uploading my music on a random distro kid or TuneCore or CD Baby and stuff like or United Masters, that's independent. You getting distribution through a major label or a label that has a major label as a parent company, that's not solely independent because you have help. Mm. Independent is no help and just literally paying your way for stuff or just it being solely off of your fan base, organic, right. straight, like, like just, like I said, genuine shit. So you want that um, major label push because there's no major artist that's not signed to a label. You Even I mean? Drake signed to a fucking label. Hell yeah, he signed to one of the worst deals ever. But that's the reality. People don't know. They see the everybody, Lil Baby, the biggest rappers in the world are signed to terrible deals. Mm. Right now, they're probably in a more favorable deal now because they didn't prove their their value. And it's not a shot at them. It's yeah. just it's just the reality of the industry. And the thing is, this is where I talk about if I'm a Drake, Drake, his life is different because now everything he, he he can go anywhere and probably get everything for free. Got clothes, people want to make clothes with him. Everyone do sponsorships, partnerships. So he's getting money off all that, and you know he probably don't have to do music. But and you, now you see as the bigger they become, the less music they drop. You know, because now it's almost like, all right, now I just need to just pace myself. All right, if I'm future, I could drop an album once a year. You know, and that's cool. Back then, future used to drop four, five mixtapes left and right. Drake used to drop mixtape by the mixtape. Wayne, same thing. Because they had to. They had to. Yeah. Now they're at a point now where they could just, all right, we could do, you know, we it's could crazy, bro. Ourselves. I have people come on this show, man. I'm always, everybody be like, yo, you can't be so uh, so biased. Like, you got to be in the middle and like, bro, it's my show. I say what the fuck I want. And so, yeah, what, keep it and what, what, when I, I'm against getting signed, not all the way, like probably 60, 40. But I feel like a nigga like you, bro, you getting these pool parties. Your pool parties lit on your own. Mm -hmm. You got the celebrity basketball game. You got the fucking credits you doing. You got so many things that you doing. You doing these tours on your own. And I'm like, if I'm you get on, my own. on your Real. own. And I see it. And I'm like, yo, you get signed. Like, they just going to put the money up. The money that you already been putting up, you want to pay them back, right? So, this is the reality. This, and I'm gonna it's tell like you credit why. card. It's just like fucking <laughs> credit. Watch me your money spend somebody else's. It I don't just, make I, sense. As soon as I said it, it, it hit me like. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the wrong nigga to say that to. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm looking for the nice bag because Fact. it's, it's the card. same yeah. thing. Let me Fact. tell you. Fact. The biggest billionaires. Y'all, all right, so everybody seeing this shit with Elon Musk, right? Yeah. He bought Twitter. Do y'all know how he bought Twitter? I don't. All right. Talk he broke it down me. in four ways. You got right? some more drink? He, Man, talk to me. Yeah. So Give he got that. investors that gave him $16 billion, mm -hmm. All right. Pull then he had, he had. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah. You say the same shit. I said, I said it to the chicks. Yeah. Hey, put your own damn danger. Yeah, because if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want no you. issues. God damn it. <laughs> that's what but, um, I was just looking at it on Twitter. So he, 16, 16 billion was from investors. Another. Uh, 16 billion was from stocks. It wasn't mm. liquid cash. And then the other, I think the other like 10, 15 billion left, because he bought it for like 46 billion, was probably some some cash that he had or some type of stuff. But the number one thing I, I thought about was he did bring in investors, 16 mm. billion. That's a billionaire. He's one or two richest yeah. people in the world. Why my own money? Why he ain't spend his own money? I'm Why? not about to do that. Exactly. So same concept for the label. Mm. Go ahead. Because the only thing you're getting is, even if you give me a 360, you're giving me the push. You're giving me the money up front. You're giving me the budget, the marketing dollars to push my singles and my, my albums and make me a big-ass star. Um, it, it falls on you as a person. I'm a marketable individual. I'm personable. I'm already doing the small things that people can attest to. I'm, I'm taking the pictures. I'm pulling up on people. I'm going to the, the uh, food banks in certain cities when I touch down. I'm involved. I'm in my fraternity. I'm heavily involved in my fraternity. Um, 
I help people with a lot of things. I help change lives. So now you give me the bigger scale, the bigger platform. Mm. I'm going to make way more money than what the fuck the label's going to give me anyway, but all I need is the push. I just okay. need you to give me the, the, the platform because that's ultimately what I need. Every time I step in the store, I mean, in a show, in, in the venue, and I perform in front of people who don't know me and I gain fans, that's the same shit. I'm going to gain money from it. Yeah, it's, it's over. So you, you, you would be pro 360. Yeah, I don't care because the 360, the thing is, I already got money. I already make money. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I don't give a fuck about paying you back. It's the same thing I would do with a bank loan. It's the same exact thing. I don't care. You could get, because how do you, how do this make sense anyway when I look at situations? If I'm the artist with the talent, but I have no money, you say I got the connects and the money. I'm going to give it to you and I'm going to make you big. I just want a piece of everything. Why is that a problem? Mm. I always ask people this like, oh, you signed to a 360 deal, but. What like what's the issue with it? Cause so, what, what are you? If you didn't have no fucking money anyway, and I didn't made you a high ass a, a pop star, and all I'm asking for is I need to make my I gotta make my money back. Yeah, it I makes gave sense. you the money. Yeah, I gotta get sense. my money back. Is that fair? And I don't want. But they be putting a little extra on top. But too. that's how. But why why would I give you money just to get what I got yeah, back? Interest. That's dumb. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I could just kept my money. I didn't have to deal with none of that. So I'm gonna give you money even if I want double back. Fuck it. I want double the money I put up. I made money off you. It is what it is. So why do niggas go wrong? Because we see, like, it, this ain't nothing it, it, new. Why we see oh, all these you know artists? Why they go wrong? Because every they don't have the fucking business sense. They don't have the the mindset. These are hood niggas that's coming from nothing. They don't have anything. They don't have nobody coaching them about credit. If I get an advance for, let's say, a, a, I sign a deal for a million, mm -hmm. and the advance is like a quarter million. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to take the whole quarter million and I'm going to invest it. That's it. Mm. All right. I'm going to invest the whole quarter million. And that's just what it is. I'm going to, I'm going to try to figure out what is their repayment? What is your repayment structure? What is the repayment amount that like, what do you need back to get me out of my deal? Cause that's the thing I need to know. I need to know what, how much it costs to get out the deal and how much are you looking to get by the end of the deal? You know what I mean? That's just the numbers that you got to look at. You give me a million, you probably want 3 million back. You feel me? So how the fuck do I turn a million to 3 million? That's all I'm thinking outside of music. You know, and you only giving me a quarter million to a half of me up front to work with as far as like advance. So how do I use this money to make more money outside of music? Because you can flop. That is a legitimate thing. Like it might not be your season. You'll drop the same time drinking a little baby drop. Now you can overshadow, but you probably put out some quality shit, but it's not getting. So you got to be strategic about that. So it's like a lot of cats go wrong because they get this money. They go buy their mama a house. I understand, you know, mama need a crib. Do mama need a crib right now? Mm. Do she really need a crib right now? Because right now, I ain't going to lie. Like, you got to think about yourself. This music industry is a dangerous game. You got to be selfish in that beginning. It's just like sports, that first contract. What you doing? You can't buy everybody a crib and everybody a car. You have to, you got to You gotta get you, <laughs> you got to get in the green first. You in the red. How you buying people shit in the red? Mm. So I think that's where a lot of artists go wrong at because they they get the money to go buy a chain and they spend 60 and 70, 80,000 on a chain and a watch and then they they buy all these clothes and they want to fly private jets. Sir, you are not him yet and it's okay. <laughs> get to him and then do it. <laughs> Fuck. It, right. and, I, and I see it all the time. I look at um, Fetty Wap. People don't remember, Fetty Wap sold his song for 80,000 mm, to Lira mm, Cohen. Mm. You feel me? So his biggest record mm. for 80 bands. Like, what the fuck? But he was fucked up. Probably didn't have no money like that. It probably made a hundred. And I ain't talking about a hundred thousand. Okay, okay. I thought, yeah, all right. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> it probably that made a Fetty Wap run was insane. Probably one of the craziest ones of our time. Yeah, and he's from like, y'all, he's from the East he's Coast. He's from Jersey, yeah, I think, Jersey. something like that. Patterson. So, Damn. he had mm, mm, six, mm. seven records that was some top 10 back shit. Back to back to back. Back to oh. back. I said, oh, hell no. You you tripping. I would have spaced the bitches out. There's no <laughs> way Fetty Wap should be in a position that. he's... Oh, that hurt. And, and, and that's why I'd be like, damn. And, and I feel, sometimes you feel bad. You know what I mean? Feel like, but he didn't have... He, he obviously didn't have the right uh, financial advisor around. Uh, and then he probably didn't have no nobody around to really, really like just help structure stuff because... You know, he he was he was talented. He still is talented. You know what I'm saying? I still listen to his music to this day. You know? And it's just now nah, I wish I could it's see unfortunate. <laughs> it's unfortunate for the situations that people uh, are put in. But you know, you can't blame nobody but yourself. Cause not knowing something is one thing, but the ability to seek knowledge and not doing that, I can't hold it. That's yeah. on you. Yeah. 
That's on you. Everybody got the the uh, the ability to go find exactly. it. Exactly. We got the ability to go on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube University is a motherfucker. Exactly. 